Magandang mainit at mailiwanas na Webes, April 8, 2021. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chidoro. Bukas po ay isang holiday. Araw ng kagitingan. Dati ang tawag dyan ay Bataan Day. Pero ginawa nilang araw ng kagitingan. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007. And ginagawa ko po itong report na ito araw-araw na sinimulan ko po noong August of last year. And I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. Kung gusto niyo po ang content na ito, niimbitahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking channel. And if you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box at aking pong ipaprioritize. Ang balita po natin ay tungkol sa tariff cut sa pork and how it will affect FB, hindi po Facebook. Ha? Ito po yung San Miguel Food and Beverage stock. At ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, April 8, 2021, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. From the Philippine Star, Duterte okays tariff cuts for pork to address meat shortage. President Duterte has approved the proposal to slash tariff rates on pork imports to as low as 5% in response to the pork supply shortage and soaring prices. The import duty rates on fresh, chilled or frozen swine meat will be modified temporarily through Executive Order 128 issued Wednesday. It would take time for the domestic swine industry to fully recover and attain sufficient local pork production, the order noted. The damaging effects of the African swine fever to the domestic swine industry have led to soaring prices and plummeting supply of pork meat, the orders read. There is an urgent need to temporarily reduce the most favored nation tariff rates on fresh, chilled, or frozen meat of swine to address the existing pork supply shortage, stabilize prices of pork, meat, and minimize inflation rates, it added. The tariff rate for in-quota imports for fresh, chilled, or frozen carcasses and half carcasses, hams, shoulders, and cuts, and other products will be 5% for the first three months of an effectivity of the order, 10% for the 4th to 12th month, and 30% after the 12th month. The out quota pork imports, the rates of duty will be 15% for the first 3 months, 20% for the 4th to 12th month, and 40% after the 12th month. The modified rates will take effect immediately upon publication in the official gazette or in the newspaper of general circulation. The order will be effected for one year from the date of effectivity. So let's uh, take a look on the commentary of BDO Nomura on this news. Ang sabi ni BDO Nomura, as per our estimate, pork protein sales accounts for about 2% of FB's total sale. Still, we believe that signed EO should bode well for the company as a whole and help alleviate supply chain concerns in the hog industry. We have a buy rating for FB with a target price of 80 pesos. So, sleeping nga natin kung anong FB today. FB is at uh, 67.05. Wow! Pero kung titignan natin yung chart ni FB, nagkaroon siya ng, nagkaroon siya ng breakout ha, for the past two days. This is indeed good news for FB and hopefully the prices of pork will go down because of the rate cut. Okay, so let's now take a look at what happened to the PSE index 
Okay, the PSEI ended with red candlestick. So, nag-profit taking siya. It lost 106.54 points. That's 1.6% down. And hopefully on Monday, it would recover and move up again. In general, the PSEI is sideways to bearish since the closing price is below our three main indicators, the EMA 50, 20, and the EMA 100. So let's now take a look at the market summary. 110 companies declined, 89 advanced, while 54 remained unchanged. The, the All Share Index also lost 1.14%, while all the sectoral indices, the financials, holding companies, industrials, mining, properties, and services were all in the red. The decliners was led by the holding companies at 2.47%. For the most active stocks, we'll be reviewing the top 10. That's Ali, BDO, SM, URC, MBT, Dito, ASEN, BPI, Pure Gold, and Tel. So let's now start with Ali. Okay, Ali has a short candlestick. It ended flat at 34.50. But it's holding support at 33.79. The RSI is at 36. 86 which is a bearish number and as gen in general it was a profit taking Friday for most stocks and um, the closing price of Ali is below our three main indicators indicating a bearish sentiment after Ali video video also ended in the red it lost 40 centavos but it's holding support at 100 uh, to 101 and the RSI is at 41. So it's a bearish number since uh, the closing price is below our three exponential moving averages. After BDO, that's SM. Okay, SM ended at uh, 965, that's 33 centavos or 33 pesos down. But the support is uh, still holding at 149 to 9, 949 to 950. But the sentiment is bearish since the RSI is at 40.63. It had a solid red candlestick today, losing 3.31%. After SM, URC, which is the only bright spot in our index stocks. URC continues to, to climb and it had a red candlestick yesterday from a breakout in April 6. The breakout in April 6 was a 5.62% rise while the prices today ended at 1.43% higher, that's 2 pesos higher. The RSI is at 62.96 indicating a bullish number. And the closing price now is above our three main indicators. So the next resistance level for URC will be at 147.70 to 147.80. That is our next resistance level. And then MBT. MBT also ended with a, well, it ended flat. But the support is holding at 44.20 to 44.30. But the closing price is bearish since the 44.75 closing price is below our three main indicators. And this is confirmed by the RSI, which is at 31.99 or almost 40. And then Dito. Okay, Dito ended with the red candlestick but if you'll see the trend line that I drew here the blue line below appears to be moving upwards but there is a um, resistance level at um, the MO100 that's 10.94 or 10.95 to 11 so it's um, being rejected at the resistance although the support level is appears to be moving upwards. The RSI is at 41.23, which is a bearish number. 
So the sentiment of Dito is the movement is sideways. Okay, then A7. Okay, A7 is the red candlestick, a very short red candlestick. And uh, it continues to move higher, although it's a red candlestick today. The RSI is at 65, which is a bullish number. And the resistance level is now, or well, I see the resistance at 8.13. So that's for ASEN. Then BPI. Okay, BPI also had a red candlestick, but I drew a uh, Darvas box where the resistance level is at 85.40 to 85.50 while the support level is at 81. So BPI continues to move sideways in this current market. Then pure gold. Okay, pure gold. Pure gold ended at 37.60 but uh, it is at support level at uh, 38 so the next support level below that would be at 3550 while the nearest resistance will be at 41 the sentiment is sideways sideways to bearish since the rsi is at 46.90 after pure gold our last stock will be tell okay tell also ended with the red candlestick with the nearest support at 12,000 or 1200 while the nearest resistance will be at 23 or 13.24 and the uh, sentiment is bearish since the closing price is below our three main indicators with the RSI at a bearish number at 39.95 Yan po ang ating report sa stock market April 8, 2021 Ito po si Benji Chodoro nagpapaalala an investment in knowledge pays the best interest Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik have a nice, long, and safe weekend. See you again on Monday. God bless and bye for now.